Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. Well, it's Tuesday. We're getting there in that uh, weekly tour portion of Vayetse, which means he went out. And today's Sidra, today's Aliyah, is taken from Genesis chapter 29, verse 18, going all the way to chapter 30, verse 13. But we're just going to tackle the first two verses of chapter 30, which reads like this. Rachel saw that she bore no children for Jacob. Rachel was jealous of her sister, and she said to Jacob, Give me sons. If there are none, I'll die. Another version says, Give me children, or I will die. Sadly, we live in a day and age that everything is everybody else's fault. Nobody does anything wrong. I mean, the prisons are full of people that are innocent, right? I, it wasn't me. I was framed. I didn't do anything wrong. And every time do, someone does something wrong and they're caught red-handed, they're like, well, it's not my fault. So-and-so made me do it. Or it's my parents' fault. And psychology backs this up. Oh, don't worry. You're, you're a victim. You're not to blame. You're all screwed up because it's your parents' fault. Nobody takes responsibility for their own thoughts or their own actions. It's only... When you take ownership of your faults, will you truly be free of them? Just as Rachel couldn't blame Jacob for her infertility, because obviously Jacob was fertile. He was having sons and daughters left and right with Leah and the handmaids, right? So just as Rachel couldn't blame Jacob for her infertility, we can't blame God or others for our own sins, faults, failures, mistakes, inadequacies, and shortcomings. So this week, whenever we mess up, Let's just step up to the plate and say, yep, it was me. Yep, I did it. Yep, I'm wrong. Yep, I own it. And I humbly ask that you forgive me, and I'll do my best to do better next time, or I'll do my best not to repeat this offense. And that's the only way we can overcome and conquer our sins. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom, and God bless.